I'm more into Asian guys. <laughs> So in this week's video, continuing on last week's theme of dating, I wanted to share one of you guys, a subscriber I talked to, Vivi, who lives in Switzerland, and about her reason why she only dates Asian guys. Because living and being, you think being Asian in America is a minority? Think about it in Europe and how hard that must be. So I talked about Vivi, about things like dating, relationships, and I also talk about my inner struggles of my own relationships, personal, intimate, and why the way that I am at this present time and moment. And it got me thinking of how my mind shifted from being like, oh my god, girls, to like, oh my god, my life. So be nice to your guys. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Vivi, I'm 25, and I live in Zurich, Switzerland. And uh, what is your overall perspective when it comes to dating in your 25 years of life? Um, I think, uh, firstly, you have to have a good uh, friendship, firstly. And then maybe you can figure out if you guys are on the same wavelength. And so you can tell if this person is the right one for a relationship. So I think it's always important to that you are able to talk to each other. What makes your ideal partner? Hmm. I think... Um, to be honest is very important and also this person has to have an ambition like to know what he wants to achieve in his life and also have a passion you know like anything like YouTube or photography or anything because I think if someone just live and just has no interest in anything that's kind of like, yeah, it's boring and... Or turn off. Yeah, turn off. Yeah, unattractive. So you wouldn't date a guy that doesn't have, like, a passion? Uh, I wouldn't say it like that, but I think it's, like we said before, it's just boring, you know? If someone is just, yeah, doesn't have any hobbies or something like that. I don't know. How do you see it? Because, I mean, if you date a girl that is just, yeah, she has no hobbies or anything, you don't think that's boring or? Yes, but what if they're in a certain, certain like, circumstances or, like, yeah. and then you want to develop them as a person, so then it's like you guys grow together. So you could mm -hmm. somehow, like, push him or her into like exploring more hobbies and you guys grow together so that's another <laughs> another yeah that's nice yeah but i mean if she's like oh i don't want to do this or i don't want to try that you know i mean you know what i mean <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah i know because there's there's some guys who are like oh all, all i want is i'm gonna go and find this girl i'm gonna go hunting for mm -hmm. a girl but then mm -hmm. They don't work on themselves and they're really boring. They don't have any passion. They don't have any hobbies. Yeah. Well, also, life in general, if you don't have any goals or you want to achieve, yeah. I mean, that's kind of a turn off for me. <laughs> Do you think it's hard for you to get to know other girls or where do you see your struggles or do you have any struggles? <laughs> yes. Like, what, like one of the things of like being on YouTube is like people think I'm like perfect, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm like I'm very I'm the only difference between me and you is like I put my a little glimpse of myself on the internet. But like mm -hmm. there's times where like I get lonely. There's times where yeah. I get sad. Yeah. I'd say my struggles would be since I've been single for a while. It's like I've gotten too used to being alone. Where it's like mm -hmm. if someone any person, guy or girl, tries to come into my life, it's like I 
I try to like push them away. Mm-hmm. And it, it's like e- even if they want to date, I feel like I'm so used to being alone. So it's like I just push people away. That's one of my my struggles that I still deal with. Being being an Asian girl in Switzerland in Zurich. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts versus other guys around the world? Um, I mean, I'm more into Asian guys. <laughs> um, I don't know, but I feel like many Swiss guys um, are very, they are very, how can I say that? Um, they are not shy at all. So they would approach a girl. And that is what I, I mean, I appreciate it. You know, if I think someone is nice then I'm happy um but sometimes it's too much so I I've been in uh, California so I met a lot of Asian Americans so I think they have a similar view as me were there a lot of Asians around you or there major like or you were like still like the minority um I'm still the minor- minority but um some of um, my parents friends they are Vietnamese too but yeah that's it so give me like an example like in high school like let's say one mm-hmm. class were you like the only Asian person in the class yeah I'm um, oh. yeah I'm the only Asian person yeah so what would make you more attracted to Asian guys because then usually if you're around an environment that you're constantly around you become tr- attracted to like the people that you're around mm-hmm. whereas in your scenario where there's like zero Asian guys or like very few what made you more like compelled um, yeah so because I had the chance to travel around I met a lot of people from different countries so I kind of I don't know I met people from Asia and also from like the American people uh, Asian American people so I just get along better. I kind of like had the chance to see um, or meet different people. So I had to, I could kind of like compare yeah. like Swiss people and other like people from other countries. So that's why I kind of see oh, this person would be a better, how can I say, not boyfriend, but I get compatible. along. Compatible. Better. Yeah, compatible. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things about like my videos is like, yes, race has a play, but like, would you exclusively only date X, Y, Z? Does that make sense to you? Uh, mm, no, I, I mean, I like Asian guys. But um, I wouldn't say that I only date this kind or, you know, people from this country. I mean, I'm still very open-minded. Because you said Asian, but there's like Asian-American or Asian-Canadian is very different from like (laughs) Asian-Asian. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I can, I mean, I met... (laughs) That sounds so wrong. Um, I mean, I met some Japanese from Japan, and I have to be honest, they are very shy, and they don't want to talk to you, actually. So they just try to be around Japanese people, so that's kind of hard, so you don't have the chance to get to know them. I think they are very shy, or they don't have the interest to get to know you. Does your mom prefer you to date Asians or yes. does she say, <laughs> yes. yeah, really? She's like, I want you to marry a little cute Vietnamese girl. <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> but for me, I've always been like the rebel and not necessarily like wanted to go with what she wanted. But the older I get, I'm like, hmm, longest time I was always like, you said hunting. I don't like the word hunting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah hunting sounds wrong <laughs> but like I focused a lot of like if I 
found the right girl, my life would be complete. But I didn't have mm-hmm. my life. I didn't have no ambitions. I didn't have goals. Mm-hmm. And the girl that broke up with me, it was during university. And mm-hmm. when she broke up with me, I felt empty because I didn't have like this higher purpose or goal. Mm-hmm. And that's when I started my YouTube channel out of heartbreak. Yeah. So that was okay. Pretty- and that's where my passion grew into like video and making content online. But you have to guide me because I'm so awkward. <laughs> but then you can't I... see me. <laughs> I can see you. Yeah, that's so awkward. <laughs> okay, I will guide the conversation, even though I'm really awkward. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs>